Solving a block through solo mining is like winning the lottery. It is a rare and highly rewarding achievement. However, instead of relying solely on luck and computing power, many miners choose to join mining pools, allowing them to earn smaller but more consistent rewards. Mining pools do not distribute payouts in the same way. The two most common payout structures for Bitcoin miners are FPPS and PPLNS. FPPS, or full pay per share, provides miners with a fixed payout based on their contribution, regardless of whether the pool successfully finds a block. This method ensures stable and predictable earnings, making it ideal for those who prefer consistency. However, the trade-off is higher pool fees. Since the pool takes on the risk of paying miners even when no blocks are found, these fees help offset potential losses for the pool operators. Another limitation of FPPS is that payouts remain the same regardless of network conditions. Whether transaction fees are low or high, miners receive a fixed rate, meaning that they may miss out on periods of increased profitability. Another payout method is PPLNS, or pay per last end shares. Unlike FPPS, pay per last end shares only rewards miners when the pool successfully mines a block. Payments are determined by the number of shares a miner contributed within a specific window. While this structure typically has lower fees and the potential for higher payouts over time, it also comes with less predictable earnings. Despite this variability, many miners prefer PPLNS for its long-term rewards potential. When mining with Compass Mining, you have the flexibility to choose which mining pool you want to contribute to. Understanding the different payout structures and their benefits can help you select a pool that best fits your mining strategy. For more information on mining pools, payout structures, and everything Bitcoin mining, visit compassmining.io forward slash education.